everything might not be fun. Yeah, the politicians keep saying, what's why is their healthcare system so expensive? And like, duh. How does that make any sense? We'll figure it out. This is the thing, I'm just getting totally engaged now, and I don't know what to do. I heard, I heard that story. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, we'll so, we're, story. so yeah, so, the, so we're done. So anyway, um, this is the thing about stairs. I was kind of thinking about how to explain it to you. Sure. And Paula, you could uh, you could tell me if it's it's a dumb way to explain. It. So so let's say you have a piping system. Yeah. And the piping system has a, and that's what our heart blood vessels are. And let's say it has a couple special features. Number one, a feature is that if something, if there's junk in there, a lot of rust. Yeah. And that rust breaks. That there's uh, okay, chemicals. So, get clogged. so the rust is all over the edges, and yeah. the rust kind of seeps. It explodes because yeah. rust, this kind of rust and this kind of pipe can explode. Uh -huh. So it explodes, and the and the body could send something over to fix fix it, so it doesn't, you know, break through the pipe. Okay. Because the explosion could break right through the pipe because the rust thins out the pipe. In okay. this case. Okay, so it corrodes like a, and then it's corroding through the pipe and then yeah, if something could go fix it. Right. The second system it has is if the if it grows inward and it starts blocking the pipe, uh -huh. the pipe will build a diverting pipe around it. So wow. it'll actually can bypass. It. Okay. So even if it closes completely your So body. our body does that on its own. Our body does that on its own. Okay. That's so the why do we pay a cardiologist to a bypass? <laughs> you don't want to go there. So let me explain what the problem, what the situation is. The way a heart attack occurs is that first scenario. So you have all this rust all over our blood vessels yeah. called plaque. Yeah. And that plaque's built up over years. It's not even related to what your cholesterol level is. It's, we'll talk about what it's related to later. Sure. It's related to a lot of stuff. It doesn't matter what your cholesterol level is. So it builds up and when that stuff gets really unstable, it will break. And when it breaks, the body sends this stuff called platelets there, sure. which are the stuff that, you know, if we have a cut, it, it stops us from bleeding. Yeah. It sends the platelets there to, to fix this thing. But in the process, it forms a scab like it would do in the skin and okay. blocks the whole artery up. Wow. That's what gives you a heart attack. It's, but, not, the, it's not the rust traveling and clogging Not something. the it's, rust traveling. It's the platelets that came it's to fix the repair. Fixing. It's the fixing of the repair. And that could happen even when the heart's not even blocked up. I mean, wow. it might be, be a little bit of plaque. Okay. So, so it's not going to occur in blockage. In fact, the vast majority of heart attacks don't occur in any blockage at all. They occur in these little areas. So, let's say now you have a, a narrow area. It's blocked ninety percent. Yeah. And you put this stent in, and the stent's a little metal piece that costs mm -hmm. thirty thousand dollars overall to get in. Yeah. Um, and you open up that area. What's okay. the problem with it? I mean, how does that? How? Why doesn't that help you? I guess it's not going to stop another area from cutting loose. And, right, the the and, and, most most of the time, and that it, area that's been built up and ninety percent blocked is at least stable. It's stable, and the body's bypassed. If it's a real problem, the body will bypass. If it's narrow ninety percent, most of the time the body builds a little vessel around that blockage. Okay. And will so you just opened up an area that didn't need to be opened at all. The body's already taken care of the problem. And all those other areas. Does it bypass it every single time? Like, is that foolproof though? Does yeah, your body. If it's, if it's a slow, slow, slow process, which most of them are, the body will build. There's a mechanism where it could detect there's low blood flow and will build blood vessels. So, why backwards. did they come up with the stent in the first place? Great, great for heart attacks. So, so, let's say that first scenario, you have just had a plaque rupture. And now the body comes and sends platelets oh, and it. builds a plot. You could and shove a step a right sudden. through there, right through that that scab, and you've now opened up the blood vessel. So you've just saved yourself in a heart attack. So when it's 90% blocked gradually over time, you build something around it. But then right. when it blocks catastrophically all of a sudden, that's right. a heart attack. And when it blocks catastrophically all of a sudden, that never happens in that 90%. I mean, that's not what caused the problem. It but you can go to the hospital with chest pain and they can see that. Oh, yeah. They can see if it's blocked right away. Yep. Okay. They can see and they can put a stent right in there and save your life. So when they say everything's right fine, you should believe them. You should believe them. Everything might not be fine. Maybe you need to be on a cholesterol medicine. Maybe you need to quit smoking. Like that guy who went on the deck, maybe that was a mistake. Right. Maybe that was the intervention that would have been the best thing to do. Okay. But putting in the stent is just like putting a Band-Aid on the wrong cut. Right, That's yeah. all we're doing. But it's an expensive freaking Band-Aid. And, you know, that, that's what kills me. So I think, you know, moving forward, I want to talk to you guys about why is it that high cholesterol doesn't mean anything? How okay. do we 
figure out if someone is at risk for having this catastrophic event. Are stress tests good at that? Yeah, how do you prevent it? How, are going to a cardiologist, getting an EKG, does that help tell you if you're... All uh -huh. that stuff's myth. There's a lot of myth in there. So I just want you guys to tell me if I'm explaining it, right? And if not, but anyway, okay. right, that's how we Sounds start. Sounds good. Hey, hope you like the podcast. We'll be back next week. I'm going to give you some information. If you want to check the website, if you want to email me, if you got your own stories, let's talk about it. See you next week.